Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome on Hadith Disciples, YouTubers and viewers upon the Sunnah and Athar to another exclusive episode of FMF, 5 Minutes of Fa'idah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah. We previously did a Fa'idah, which we called the tortoise and the hare. And we spoke about Ibn Qayyim's discussion on what's best concerning the recitation and reading of the Quran and Kareem. Is it to read it uh, and try to get done with it and read as much as you possibly can through the speed of your reading at the cost and the expense of not taking in as much reflection and pondering and understanding? Or should a person slow down, take his or her time, and try to soak in more of the meanings of the Qur'an and have a deeper understanding and a deeper reflection and meditation of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which of the two is best? We call this the tortoise versus the hare or the tortoise and the hare. Reference to one of the earliest uh, childhood uh, nursery wisdoms that you learn. Whether it's from the wisdom of Aesop, the Greek slave, or other than Aesop. The hare is fast, agile, nimble, quick. But oftentimes it tires and it becomes exhausted. And oftentimes its speed and its agility and its nimbleness causes it to become arrogant and conceited. And to think that it can win the race and finish the race without pure, good old fashioned hard work and humility. Versus the tortoise or the turtle. But specifically the tortoise, obviously turtles are amphibious. The tortoise is more on land, a more drier you know, type of creature. So the tortoise is cumbersome. It isn't, it doesn't have the quick jump in the step like the hare or the bunny rabbit does. So oftentimes the turtle it takes his time, uh, it's very uh, boring and uh, yeah, I mean, just nothing exciting and fun to watch. But it makes up for its lack of speed and agility through consistency, through persistence, through perseverance. And it wins and it trumps its opponent, the fast, quick hare through humility and through good old-fashioned hard work. So which is better when we read the Quran and Kareem? Should I try to read as much as I possibly can with the understanding of just a few of the words? Or should I take my time in a slow, simple manner? Thus we mention of Ibn Qayyim Taala's discussion regarding this issue. Ibn Qayyim Taala he says, Qalu, those ulama who say that it's best to slow down, he says, another proof that they use, وَلِأَنَّ الْإِمَانَ أَفْضُلُ الْأَعْمَالِ وَفَهْمُ الْقُرْآنِ وَتَدَبُرُهُ هُوَ الَّذِي يُثْمِنُ الْإِيمَانِ وَأَمَّا مُجَرَّدُ التِّلَاوَةِ مِنْ غَيْرِ فَهْمٍ وَلَا تَدَبُرٍ فَيَفْعَلُهَا الْبَرُّ وَالْفَاجِرُ وَالْمُؤْمِنُ وَالْمُنَافِقُ كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل المنافق الذي يقرأ القرآن كمثل الريحانة أو كمثل الريحانة ريحها طيب وطعمها مر They also say is that the best of deeds is Iman and understanding the Qur'an, reflecting and pondering on the words of the Qur'an is the thing which sprouts one's Iman and allows the Iman to grow. As far as just reciting the Qur'an and not understanding and paying attention to its words, he says then anyone can do this. Those who are wicked and evil and those who are pious and righteous, the believer and the munafiq. As the Prophet ﷺ told us, the similitude of the hypocrite who recites the Qur'an is like that of a rayhana. It's like that of, uh, one may say, sweet basil or something like this, rosemary, something like this. It is uh, very fragrant, has very beautiful aroma, but has a bitter, bitter taste. It doesn't taste good at all. He says, and the people regarding their relationship with the Qur'an are of four categories. Number one, those who have the Qur'an and Iman. Number two, and before that he says, and they are the best of the people who have the Qur'an and Iman. And then we have those who don't have Qur'an, but they have Iman. Number three, those who have Qur'an, but they have no Iman. And then we have those who have neither Iman nor any Qur'an. Qalu. فَكَأَنَّمَا مَنْ أُوتِيَ إِمَانًا بِلَا قُرْآنًا أَفْضَلُ مِنْ مَنْ أُوتِيَ قُرْآنًا بِلَا إِمَانٍ فَكَذَلِكَ مَنْ أُوتِيَ تَدَبُّرًا وَفَهْمًا فِي التِّلَاوَةِ أَفْضَلُ مِنْ مَنْ أُوتِيَ كَثْرَةَ قِرَاتٍ وَسُرْعَتَهَا بِلَا تَدَبُّرٍ I tell the next episode, Bidna Ta'ala, part three of the tortoise and the hare. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one whom we ask to give us beneficial knowledge, righteous action, and the ability to reflect and to ponder.